Well, anyway, here's the new arrival. I haven't opened it yet, just came to the door. I didn't want to disappoint the viewers, so uh, let's take it into the kitchen, open it up, and see what we got. LiveAquaria.com. I thought I got a pretty good deal. It's about $400 worth of stuff in that box. Let's, let's open it up, see what we got. Alright, let's open her up, see what we got. method acclimation guide first we're going to do a temperature acclimation turn off aquarium lights dim the lights in the room where your specimen bags will be opened severe stress or trauma may result from sudden exposure to bright light so we're going to have to go ahead and turn the most of the lights off while well, the lights off in the tank and Try to dim the room as best as possible. The aquarium, float the seal bag in the aquarium for 15 minutes and allow the water in the specimen bag to adjust slow to the temperature in your aquarium. All right, so let's do that. Um, take this, move this foil. As you can see, as you can see here, there's a, a styrofoam cooler inside the box. So let's go ahead and take that out. Okay, I opened the styrofoam box. I took a few things out already. Uh, I put them on top of the water here on the tank. I took the uh, light fixture off and the doors. And uh, I put the bags afloat so they can get acclimated to temperature for now. Let me take the rest of these bags out. Um, a lot of them you can't tell what's in there yet because they have this black uh, lining on the bag. I guess to prevent shock when you when you open it up, so the light doesn't shock the fish. So I'm just going to go ahead and place them in the tank. The water level's filling up, so I hope I can put them all in. Let them sit in there for about 15 minutes. And uh, then I'll open the bags and I'll water acclimate them. But for now, I'll just get this done. I just pulled this out. You can do. You can see this one. You don't know, know what that is. That's the sand sifter, starfish. <coughs> starfish, excuse me. Just go ahead and I'll uh, I'll place that in. Tank looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's gonna look awesome when I get everything in there. And the rest you really can't see, so. About 15 minutes, I'll water acclimate them. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now. A little bit more, I had some lunch. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the top. See where it's sealed? I'm going to cut the top off. Then I'm going to fold back the bag about one inch to create an air pocket. And it should float the bag upright. And then from there, I'm going to pour in one half a cup of my tank water into the bag every four minutes until the bag is full. And then I'm going to empty half of the, con the contents of water that are, that's in the bag into the, out, into the sink, and I'm going to repeat the process. Now, i got to do it for all of these bags. It's going to take me forever, and I'm not going to film every one. I'm just going to do one. Uh, I know that you're, there's three different ways of acclimating uh, fish and corals and invertebrates. One being this way that I'm doing is, uh, the, is the, the bag, uh, what do you, the float, the bag float method or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the other is the uh, drip method, which you would take a uh, like a hose and you would tie a little knot in it and you would drip water into the bag for like let's say an hour and acclimate them that way and the third way uh, would be quarantine which you would put in a totally separate tank for up to two to one to two weeks which we're not going to do that we're going to uh, they suggest either one of the three 
and uh, if this is, is by far the easiest one so um, and this way is under warranty so it's a 14 day guarantee that the fish corals and invertebrates will survive this way or your money back or a credit so that's why I like the shop at Dr. Foster and Smith or liveaquaria.com so let's go ahead and do that right now Okay, now fold this back, and then this is the yellow tang. First one is the yellow tang. He's small, it's about the size of a 50 cent piece. So anyway, I'm going to fold these back, just the top part about an inch or so down, creating that air pocket. There you go. Uh, give me a quick look at what I did there. So I folded it back, and there he is. Okay, I have a measuring cup. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to take half a cup of water out of the aquarium and pour it into the bag every four minutes until the bag is completely full. And then I'm going to empty it out into the sink and repeat the process. Uh, and the first one is the yellow tank. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this precisely how the instructions say. There's a half a cup, pouring it in. So now you got to wait four minutes and repeat. Okay, I just let the first fish go. It's about 20 minutes edited. So I don't know where he is. It's a little dark in there. You can't really tell. It was the purple. It's the, I don't know. I forget the name. It was the purple fish. Uh, like the bicolor type. And he's in there, but uh, I'm going to do the tang next. He's next. I just released the tang. And he's just getting used to his new surroundings. He's checking it out. So there he goes. It's two in. Eleven to go. Here's the next thing added. I believe it's the mushroom, spotted mushroom coral. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 